When the Norwegian army goes up the Pacific River, it's clear what belongs to whom. Norway is on one side, Russia on the other. The river is what separates the two countries here. That's clear. There is some, uh, some places, of course, that uh, there's a wee bit of disagreement where the border actually runs. It's uh, especially up in the north where you have to... It's different in the Barents Sea where the Norwegian-Russian row is at a low boil. But climate change is also causing the situation to hot up. We fly to northwestern Norway, where the danger is already there, for all to see. Fishing boats come in here to Somaroy each morning. They're carrying fresh catches for the processing plant. Mainly it's cod, which accounts for about 70% of what they take. Cod is extremely important for the Norwegian fishing industry. It's exported all over Europe. In Spain and Portugal in particular, the fish is in high demand, dried and salted. But getting more could become difficult, simply because the cod's gone somewhere else. It was uh, longer south. Now the cod is uh, getting longer north because uh, it's a uh, warmer sea, you know. The sea is getting warmer and, uh, and the cold is follow. Tromso isn't far from the fish processing plant. The Vikings called the place Island in the Stream and it's actually located in a fjord directly on the Gulf Stream. Today, the renowned Norwegian Polar Institute is investigating how the water is changing and what that means for the fish. This is the long-term variability, and we know... And Jan Gunnar Winter is the director of the institute, and what he and his colleagues have discovered is beyond doubt. And what happened now, uh, more recently... In recent years, CO2 emissions have increased massively, and the Earth's average temperature has risen. He and his crew of scientists have precisely documented the impact on the Arctic. And temperature As the ice and snow melts, enormous amounts of fresh water mix with the sea and drive the cod away from Norway. This is a direct consequence of an increase in, in water temperature. And this you could take for other species as well. Uh, they will migrate from southern Europe further north and you will have in this area, for example, the Arctic cod in the Barents Sea, which is the richest fisheries in Europe that will migrate northwards and west eastwards, which for, for Norway's sake would mean more of the Arctic cold into Russian waters. Nearby, those who earn their livelihoods by fishing say they're afraid. Hovad Johansson is one of 100,000 people who work in Norway's fishing industry. Every second day he goes out to sea and returns to sell cod right here in Tromsø's harbor. Johansson says climate change has him at a loss. If the sea is uh, warming up, I, I think the fish don't come here. Only shark, shark. <laughs> fish from warm land. I don't know. The time will show. Once again, we return to the Russian border, where most of the cod has gradually headed. The port of Kakenes is on the Norwegian side of the border, but every day, enormous Russian cutters come in. Dmitry Berezenko was the captain of one of the ships. He proudly gives us a tour of his floating fish processing plant. In his office on board, he shows us a video of his last cod catch. Pursuing the fish is already earning Russian fishermen millions. <coughs> this year was exceptionally good. We caught two and a half thousand tons within three and a half months. 
It's not quite clear to whom all the fish belong because the nautical boundaries between Norway and Russia have been in dispute for decades. The soldiers on the border river will continue to navigate their routine patrols. But out at sea, it could be a different story if climate change continues to drive valuable schools of cod into the grey area and waters between Norway and Russia.